Welcome to the 24-7 Sports on YouTube channel. I'm National Recruiting Editor Brandon Huffman. And in just a moment, we'll go down to Southern California for the live announcement from four-star safety Marquise Gallegos. Marquise Gallegos is a four-star on 24-7 Sports, ranking as the number 27 safety in the 2024 class and the number 26 player overall in the state of California at six foot one, 175 pounds. Gallegos has narrowed it down to a final five schools of University of Michigan, Notre Dame, Oklahoma, Oregon, and USC. Now we throw it down to North Hollywood, California, where we're joined live by Gallegos and his family as he gets set to make his announcement. Marquise, welcome to you and your family. I know it's a big day for you. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. You know, it's been kind of a long process for you between all the early offers, narrowing it down to those five schools. What's the recruiting process been like when you got your first offer to when you had so many offers, you narrowed it down to five to now today where you're set to make your announcement? Uh, the recruiting process has been long, but enjoyable for sure. Uh, it's been stressful at times, but I'm grateful for all the opportunities that have been presented to me and uh, just glad to finally be able to make a decision. Now, it sounds like you got quite the festive atmosphere there. Who do you all have joining you today for this announcement? Uh, I have my, my dad right here, my mom, my little brother, and then behind the camera, I got family and friends with me. So you got a lot of friends and family there that celebrate this big day. And we'll get to that decision in just a moment. But you get down to this point. You get down to the, the point in the recruiting process where you're ready to make your decision. What have the last two or three days been like as you built towards this decision? Uh, the last two to three days have been good, stressful, you know, having some conversations with my family and kind of just making sure this is the right decision for me. But it's been enjoyable for sure. All right, Marquise. Well, I know you prepared a, a short video and we're going to tune right into that video and let it be revealed where you're going to be playing your college football. Growing up in Los Angeles and playing football, I've always dreamed about one day being one of the best. But being a Latino from the San Fernando Valley, that's all it's ever been, a dream. But today, dreams come true. Yeah, let's take them back. Uh-huh. Coming up, I was confused. My mommy kissing a girl. Confusion and curse coming up in the cold world. Daddy ain't around, probably out committing felonies. My favorite rapper used to sing, check, check out my melody. I want to live good. I sell four, four finger ring. One of them go ropes. Nana told me if I pass it, get a sheep skin. Whatever, bro. I can move a few packs. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm ready to make one. 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 I'm I'm Rabs and we pick, and I ain't going nowhere, so you can get to know me. Hated the love of the underdogs on top, and I'm gonna shine on me until my heart stop. Go ahead and be me. I'm Rabs and we pick, and I ain't going nowhere, so you can get to know me. G -G 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 on the grill of my low rider, guns on both sides, right above the gold wires, I four five them. Go on my song and really do it, that's the true meaning of a ghost rider. 10 G to take your daughter out of Air Forces. Believe you me, homie, I know all about losses. I'm from Compton, where the wrong colors be cautious. One phone call, had your body dumped in Marcy. I stay strapped like car seats. Been banging since my little Rob got killed for his Barclays. That's 10 years, I told Pooh in 95. I you if you try me for my Air Max 95s. You told Banks when I met him, I'm a ride. And if I gotta die, I'd rather homicide. I ain't For the next three to four years, I'll be staying home and committing to the University of Southern California. Fight on.
So there it is, Marquis Gallegos announcing he is staying home in Southern California and he's going to be playing at USC. Marquis, first of all, one of the coolest videos that we've seen for an announcement. Why the Trojans? Um, biggest reason is just the direction that the program is headed in. I mean, Nick and Riley are doing great things there with the addition of them going into the Big Ten and everything that comes with that is just headed in the right direction. Something I want to be a part of. You got a chance to see schools all over the country. You took a number of unofficial visits, went all over the United States to see those schools, but ultimately decided to stay in the Southland. How big is this for you and your family to be able to play your college football just a few miles from where you grew up? Uh, it's really big. and It's definitely a dream come true for me to be able to stay home and kind of represent my hometown and kind of put on for them is really important to me. You get the opportunity to play at the Coliseum. You get the opportunity to play in front of your friends and family. How much of that was a big factor in your decision to be able to be that close to your mom and dad as USC is getting ready to make the move to the Big Ten? Uh, it played a huge factor. I mean, I grew up a USC fan and so did my family. So being able to stay home and kind of play in front of all my family and friends was a big factor for sure. Lastly, you made the decision before you head into your senior year. How big a relief is it to know where you're going to be playing your college ball when your season's done and just be able to play your senior season without even having to worry about recruiting? Uh, it's definitely a big relief. Happy it's all over with. I'm kind of happy I, I found my home, and now I'm just going to kind of focus on my senior season and do what I got to do. Well, there you have it. Lincoln, Riley, and USC land another four-star player in a busy June. The Trojans keeping Marquise Gallegos in the Southland where he'll play his college football in Los Angeles at the Coliseum. Marquise, let those USC fans know what they're getting from you in these next couple of years. Of Thank you. All right, there you have it. USC's newest commit, Marquise Gallegos out of Southern California. For more on what USC is getting in Marquise Gallegos, we bring in national recruiting analyst Greg Biggins, who's seen a lot of Marquise over the last couple of years. And Greg, as he joins us, will break down what the Trojans are getting. Greg, welcome to the show. Thanks, Huff. Good to have you here. And I think USC is pretty excited about their newest addition from Southern California. What is USC getting with the addition of Marquise Gallegos? Yeah, I mean, they should be excited. I, I love the kid, you know, but watching him since the little five-game COVID freshman season and at that young uh, stage in his development, he was already really, really good. Instincts, I've said this many times. For me, he's the most instinctive safety out West. Um, he's got range. He's got great ball skills. got great ball awareness. Uh, lean frame, but not afraid to get downhill. And uh, he's got a physical edge in his game. He's a big hitter. Really, uh, honestly, uh, his film is tremendous. I think the only reason keeping him from being even higher uh, in our rankings is we haven't had a chance to really see him you know, live and get some verified in terms of height, weight, speed. But his film for me, is tremendous. And again, watching him in person a few times, man, I, I think he does everything well. Again, I think he can fit in, you know, playing your, your single high safety. You see right there the ball skills, the football instincts. I've always said this kind of two to three plays ahead of everybody else. Just always right place, right time. I can go on and on and on. I probably already have Huff, so you can see, man, I'm a big fan, and I think he's going to be a tremendous asset for the Trojans moving forward. You know, one of the things in USC's class right now is the geographical diversity in this class, but at the end of the day, I think Lincoln Riley still wants to recruit Southern California. What kind of commitment does Marquise Gallegos bring them in terms of what kind of addition he could bring with other Southern California players? So in my story today, Huff, he actually told me that part of the reason why he committed, and obviously he said it, and I put this in the article, you know, grew up a Trojan fan, not just him, his whole family grew up Trojans. But he said he's been talking to a lot of the Southern California kids. They've been talking for the last month or so about, hey, what if we all went to USC together? What kind of class could we build? We already saw what Lincoln Riley did in one year. Um, they were a game away last year for making the playoffs and year one for Lincoln Riley. So I think there's a lot of momentum, a lot of positive buzz right now with USC. And Marquis said it himself. He said, hey, all our guys, we stuck together. All the Southern California guys decided to stay close to home, uh, bring back those Pete Carroll era days. I think that's what he's thinking. And uh, it's kind of an exciting thought if you're a Trojan fan. 
You look at their secondary in the class that they've already got committed. Two other Southland natives, Dakota Fields and Marcellus Williams, both some of the best corners in the country. But now you have Marquise Gallegos to the mix as that safety. And it's clear that Dante Williams, Alex Grinch, and their presence recruiting in the secondary is bringing help. But, you know, you mentioned that he says that he wants to get all those Southern Californians in there. You know, are there some other DBs? Are there some other guys that, you know, Marquise is tight with that he is doing some of the layman's work with those guys to get him to join them? So obviously, Zabian Brown is another big name out there. I'm not sure how close Marquise is, but you know, there's I think there's five guys that are I would put in that kind of elite category. You got the three corners, Celis, Dakota. They already have those two. I would throw Zabian Brown, those three elite corners, and you have the two safeties. Obviously, you got Marquise Gallegos and then Peyton Woodyard, who they're still recruiting despite being a Georgia commit. They're still recruiting uh, Peyton pretty heavily. He took his official visit a couple of weeks ago, and I think they would love to go five for five. I don't know if that's possible, but I think they would love to do that. So, you know, I'm, I've always been a big proponent of, you know, I, I could care less where you're from. Yeah, I build the wall and get the best local guys, but there's a guy in Texas or Florida or Billings, Montana, you know, get the best guy. Saying all that, I think Marquise is both those guys. He's the best guy. He's also a local guy. So you kind of kill two birds. And, uh, you know, he's a player. Obviously, you can, you can tell, man, he brings some excitement. Uh, he brings some energy. And I think he's going to be a really good player for USC. You know, lastly, we mentioned the geographical diversity. And USC is about to get some of their own geographical diversity, moving from the Pac-12 to the Big Ten in the fall of 2024. How important is getting a player like Marquise Gallegos, just from a talent standpoint, as USC makes that move to the Big Ten? I think that when I think of Big Ten football, Huff, I think of physicality, right? It's always been known as that big, strong, especially up front, O-line, D-line, those guys in the Midwest. Uh, you know, they've always been, um, as a West Coast guy, kind of pains me to say, but always got to feel like they had a little more physical edge in their game. I think Marquise kind of brings that nastiness. He's got a little edge in his game. He'll come up and hit you um, just because he wants to, right? He, he's a mean kid on the field. He flips the switch, great kid off the field, but on the field, man, he has a nice little aggressive nastiness that I love to see, especially in a safety. Uh, you kind of saw it on camera. Again, a little bit of a lean frame. We'd love to see him continue to bulk up a little bit, add some good weight to his frame, uh, but he's got the athletic skill set. He has the, the, the skill set, uh, the athleticism. Um, if he can continue to grow and, and, like I said, add some add some good weight, he's got the frame to do so. I think you got a, a head hunting safety with ball skills that can make a, that can be a big impact player in that Big Ten. All right. Thanks, Greg. Nobody has seen Marquise Gallegos more than you. Nobody has covered his recruitment better than you. Appreciate your contributions there. To all of our viewers, hit that like button on your way out. And thank you for joining us as Lincoln Riley and USC Trojans add a four-star safety in Marquise Gallegos for the 24-7 Sports YouTube channel. I'm Brandon Huffman. Thanks for tuning in.